Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Solvi. Uh, my brother once asked me this puzzle. He was asked this puzzle at school. Let's say you're having a party and uh, so uh, show us a way to count how many handshakes are going to happen in this party. So th 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 this is a way in, math in engineering generally that whenever you're given a question or an equation or a puzzle, uh, try to give it some numbers. So instead of saying like normal party and then we try to think, all you've got to do is uh, say, let's say we have five, this party. So how, uh, like most of people will say, okay, five people, then everyone will have five handshakes, then five times five equals 25, which is wrong. So let's, l let me show you how to do this. So let's say th this is first person, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now we're having five. And everyone is going to handshake the other one, so the first one will handshake this one, this one, this one, this guy. How many handshakes? Four for the first one. The second one will not uh, handshake this one again. He's already handshaking him. So, this one, two, and three. So it's plus three. The third one will have two more handshakes with this one, this one. And the last one will only handshake this one. The last one has already greeted everyone in this party. So the total is 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is 10. Alright, then it's not 25. So we have to use our mind. So uh, we didn't yet solve the question, like, uh, then what's the pattern? Let's try 4. We have a party of 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the first one will have one handshake, two and three. Second one will have two, sorry, two, and then the third one will have one. So it's a three plus two plus one, which is six. Can we get a pattern? So now we have four handshakes, uh, four people gives you six, five gives you ten. Uh, let's try the three handshakes, three people. One, two, and three. This is easy. The first one will have two, and then third one. So whenever we have three people, we'll get three handshakes. So the pattern is that, like, we have five, then we start from the lower number, add until one. Like, this one was two plus one. So for six, it's definitely going to be five plus four plus three plus two plus one, which is 15. So six gives you 15. But if you were asked to give an equation, how are you going to put an equation for this one? It's easy. So let's say again we had 3 gives 3, 4 gives 6, 5 gives 10, and 6 gives 15. Definitely the 7 will give 21. So let's try to think. The three. How do we get a 3 from a 3? We multiply by 1. Four, uh, 6 from a 4, you multiply by 1.5, we get 10 from 5 by multiplying by 2, 15 from 6 by multipli multiplying by 2.5, and 21 from 7 by multiplying by 3. So, what we can realize is that we're increasing a half, and even for if we had 2 people, then we'll have only one handshake. Uh, so, 2 gives 1 by multiplying by 0.5. So the equation can, let's think of an equation. Uh, what can we do with this one? Everyone, you're, you're increasing a half. And a half related to 2 and 1 related to 3 and 1.5 related to 4 is that you take the, like you have 2, how do you get a 0 0.5? You might minus 1 times half. It gives you a half. What about the 3? How do you get a 1? 3 minus 1 times half gives you a 1. What about the 4? The 1.5 from a 4, you take 4 minus 1 times half equals 1.5. 3 times a half, it's, it's 1.5. So now we can get the equation. All what we have to do is take the number, number of people, let's say we have 5 people, minus 1 times half, all of that multiplied by the number 
the original number of people gives you the number of handshake. So it's number of people minus one times half times number of people. Oh, sorry, you didn't see that. Try to raise the camera next time. Gives you the number of handshakes. So what are the lessons that we can get from this? Is that you try to be systematic, don't you ever? Even if you were given a question without numbers, try to put some numbers for that question, so that you'll be able to think and brainstorm your mind to find the solution. Uh, all, uh, as uh, always, subscribe, like this video, and comment if you have any question, and I'll solve it in the next episode if there are questions up to this point. And I'll see you in the next ones where we are going to learn how to do derivations using this calculator and also generally what are the derivations. See you next time.